Carol S. Leeson, a Black Hawk Technical College nursing assistant instructor. This video, Basic Math Operations for a Nursing Assistant Part 1, shows you how to calculate the total fluid intake of a nursing home resident after a meal. As a nursing assistant, you will calculate the fluid intake at each meal of the residents that you care for. This is an important skill and accuracy is very important. Older people do not often feel thirsty and they are at risk for dehydration. This occurs when there is too little fluid intake or the amount of fluid output in urine, sweat, and diarrhea exceeds the amount of fluid a person takes in. Other older people may have trouble with fluid buildup in their bodies, a condition known as edema. People with kidney or heart disease may be prone to edema and may be on pills called diuretics to get rid of excess fluid. In a 24-hour period, a healthy adult will take in about 48 to 96 ounces of fluid, which is approximately 1,500 to 3,000 milliliters and about the same amount of fluid will leave their body. This is called fluid balance. Sometimes you may measure and total 24-hour intake and output on a resident if this has been ordered. At other times, you will just keep track of the fluid intake. When residents are finished with their meals, you will calculate and total the amount of fluid intake in milliliters that the resident consumed at that meal and record it. Many facilities have a calculator in the dining room for you to use because, again, accuracy is so important. Basic addition, multiplication, and division are all used in figuring intake. These basic math operations can be done on a calculator and we will not discuss them in this video. In this video, we will focus on calculating and totaling liquid volume measurement in milliliters. We will use the math operations of converting cups and ounces to milliliters and we will multiply fractions. We will look at a breakfast tray when a resident has finished eating and will total and record the fluid intake in milliliters. So, let's put all those math facts together in a way that you will use them on the job as a nursing assistant. Mr. Alan Smith has finished his breakfast and you are picking up his breakfast tray. You will record two things. First, what percent of solid foods did he eat? This will be recorded as 0, 25, 50, 75, or 100 percent. He ate all of his toast, all of his oatmeal, and most of his scrambled eggs. So we will call that about 100%. Now, what is his total intake of fluids in milliliters? First, you need to consider what all the fluid or liquid intake is. On Mr. Allen's tray, there was coffee, orange juice, milk, and water. These are all liquids. Remember that at other meals, items like soup, pudding, jello, ice cream, and popsicles are considered liquid intake. The long-term care facility that you work at should have a list of items that are liquid and how many milliliters they are. We will go back to Mr. Allen's tray. Before we start figuring totals, let's review the basic facts you need to know to convert liquids into milliliters. Memorize these two facts. One cup equals eight ounces, and one ounce equals 30 milliliters. This is a large coffee mug. It is 16 ounces, and Alan consumed three-fourths of it. So how many milliliters of coffee did Alan drink? First, turn ounces into milliliters. 16 ounces times 30 milliliters per ounce equals 480 milliliters. Three-fourths of 480 milliliters means three-fourths times 480 milliliters. 
to multiply three-fourths times 480 milliliters. Remember the rule for multiplying fractions. Turn 480, a whole number, into a fraction by putting 1 as the denominator. 3 over 4 times 480 over 1. Multiply the numerators. 3 times 480 equals 1,440. Multiply the denominators. 4 times 1 equals 4. Your fraction now reads 1,440 over 4, an improper fraction. Turn this into a whole number by taking the numerator divided by the denominator. 1,440 divided by 4 equals 360 milliliters. On your tablet, write coffee equals 360 milliliters. This orange juice glass is 3 ounces, and Mr. Allen consumed all of it. Multiply the number of ounces by 30 milliliters per ounce. 3 ounces times 30 milliliters per ounce equals 90 milliliters. Since he drank the entire glass, write juice equals 90 milliliters on your tablet. This is a one cup measure of milk, and Mr. Allen drank two thirds of it. First, use your basic facts to turn the cup into milliliters. One cup equals eight ounces. Eight ounces times 30 milliliters per ounce equals 240 milliliters. Multiply fractions. Turn the whole number, 240, into a fraction by adding one as a denominator. So now you have 2 over 3, 2 thirds, times 240 over 1. Multiply the numerators. 2 times 240 equals 480. Multiply the denominators. 3 times 1 equals 3. Your result is an improper fraction, 480 over 3. Now, divide the numerator by the denominator. 480 divided by 3 equals 160 milliliters. Two-thirds of one cup, or two-thirds of 240 milliliters of milk, is 160 milliliters. On your tablet, write milk equals 160 milliliters. The last item on the tray is a six ounce of water, which Mr. Allen drank all of. To turn six ounces into milliliters, multiply six ounces times 30 milliliters per ounce. Since Mr. Allen drank the entire glass of water, on your tablet, write 180 milliliters, because six times 30 is 180. Now, total the four liquid items on your tablet. Coffee, 360 milliliters. Juice, 90 milliliters. Milk, 160 milliliters. Water, 180 milliliters. Total is 790 milliliters. Many facilities will provide you with a calculator to use. The important thing to remember is to total all the liquids consumed at a meal. That is the total you will enter onto the dietary intake record. As a nursing assistant, you understand how important it is to accurately calculate the fluid intake of the residents you care for. The observations and recording of fluid intake that you do helps the entire healthcare team give excellent care. If you would like more detailed explanations of math operations, the video Basic Math Operations for a Nursing Assistant Part 2, Conversion of Cups and Ounces to Milliliters, goes into more detail about how to convert cups and ounces to milliliters. The video Basic Math Operations for a Nursing Assistant 
Part 3, Multiplying Fractions, explains in detail the math operations involved in multiplying fractions. If you want more help in understanding or reviewing math operations, there are some resources that are available. PTC has a learning lab on both Central Campus and the Monroe Campus. The learning lab assistants will sit down and work with you to understand math. Through Blackboard, you can connect to our 24-7 online tutoring service called NetTutor. On Blackboard, go to My Courses. Select the Student Resources course on the left side of the page. Select 24-7 online tutoring. You have various options for working with a tutor. You can speak to one on the phone or participate in online chat. Your Nursing Assistant Handbook has two pages of math worksheets for you to practice your math, Math A and Math B. Do both of these worksheets. One of them will be turned in for points in the class. Finally, make an appointment to talk to a BTC Nursing Assistant instructor if you have more questions. Thanks for taking the time to learn about calculating fluid intake.